Yep. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. There he is. Got him. Yep. That was epic. Oh. Yep. Got him. What are you? Oh, no way. Well, good morning, folks. We've got an absolute stunner of a morning here. We do have some pretty warm conditions this morning, heating up to, you know, high 20s, I think even 30s as well. Got these sort of foggy conditions, really foggy this morning. So we're gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna fish this sort of run out tide. We've got some mangroves behind me here. We've also got some rock bars on these deeper sides as well. So we're just gonna switch between the two, see if we can figure something out early season. Nonetheless, I'm uh, super excited to be out here and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. We've got a bit of a high tide here, but this big deep rock ledge here. So we're going to start off with the Rapala Shadow Wrap Jack Deep. See how we go working along this rock batter. See if we can't find anything. Water temps are still pretty cool at the moment, but that's all right. It's meant to get to like pretty warm this morning. So we've got this early morning fog and overcast conditions so we'll give this a crack just for a bit here so we'll just see if we can piece something together got top water as well so if there's a top water looking section then he's going on but I'll just drift with this tide and see what we can find Hearing a bit of commotion up here on this side. Don't know if they're wolves or anything or whether it's just fish moving about, but we'll give it a crack. Great thing with the skipping plastic, like this little imposter as you've seen previously in my stuff, is you can get it right up the back of these snags and that's where some of the fish tend to hide especially when the sun comes out that's it oh there he was fuck Scared the absolute poop out of me. <sighs> that was a good one too. <sighs> Jeez, he's not coming back for a second strike. He come out of nowhere. He come out from a mile away to smack that. Oh, no. <sighs> that gets the heart racing, eh? Sometimes with these um, high tides and outgoing tides, you can still fish these really shallow stuff. Like generally people will miss that, not really fish it, and then go for this deeper section, which you will get fish. No doubt about it, just look at that. That was something in there. That was something big in there. Huge. Right on cue. Not very deep in there, eh? There he is. Got him. Yep. That was epic. They got him. They got him. Oh, that was sick. That was so sick. Oh, right on cue. Oh, how good. <laughs> oh, literally was just talking about it. Just saying that. You know, people tend to go for these deeper sides, and this shallow side, it's like literally like a couple of inches deep. Heard a buff, cast it in there, he took it. 
How sick is that? No better way to catch them, eh? Super visual. Right up in the shallows. Beautiful red dog. I'm a little tiny imposter as usual. Purple haze colour. She's um really, really clear at the moment, so I thought maybe just go with the purple haze. Sure enough. We got him. Alright, we'll pop a tag in him and then um yeah, send him out of here. He's so cranky, eh? Beautiful Jack. Thanks, mate. Shoot off like a rock at this one. He's out of here. That's so sick, eh? I was actually contemplating fishing this deeper side, but I'm gonna fish this little shallow side, seeing a lot of prawns flicking and stuff, and I've seen a couple of buffs. So let's get straight back in there and uh, see if we can't get any more. So good. That's very cool. On the purple haze, little imposter here. Rigged weedless and basically weightless. Right up into this skinny stuff. I'm sorry if there's any glare. They're just absolutely smashing on this side. Got some nervous water up ahead. Baits scurrying and fleeing and stuff, so we'll just fish this side for a bit. See if there's anything else hanging up in here. Got the rock bars on the other side as well. Very tempting to go to, but I'll wait till the sun's right up and we have to fish deeper. So make the most of these sort of shaded conditions. And some really shallow water. So shallow in there, could come right out for that, eh? <sighs> yes. Very aggressive this morning, both of them. Me just hanging out in the mangroves here. Uh, there we go. Beautiful Jack. Another one. Imposter on the purple haze colour, so that's really, really cool. Amazing. Love these fish, eh? Absolutely adore them. So cool, especially when you can get them on surface or just rolling a plastic just below the surface and it's so visual. So sick. Yeah, he's got his tag in there. He's out of here. You. He made an absolute meal of that one. That's all right, she's still good to go. It's a good thing about the durability of these plastics, like the super stretchy material that they've got, that sort of TPE material, that it can withstand your toothy critters like your jacks. So, basically locked, that one. Very cool. We've got a little bit more bank down this way. I'm gonna keep going. Here's just sitting right in here. Some nervous water somewhere around here, so. A little bit of tide flow coming over this little bank here, so it's a perfect little ambush spot for him. What I like to do with the little imposter here is run it weedless, so that's just like an EWG weightless hook. And I add a little bit of lead weight to the nose so that you can fish it a little bit deeper if you want to. And it tends to just kick a little better if you're gonna run it weedless. If you run it weightless and no weight at all, it tends to just kick up to the, uh, to the surface. Oh, come on then. Oh, brim. Pack a brim. Smack that as soon as it hit the water. Oh, yep, got him. 
Mr. Codley. Mr. Codley on the jerk bait. Got this rock bar around here, so I was like, oh, I'll just skip a jerky in there, eh? Mr. Codley. See you later, little dude. Got him. What are you? Oh, no way. Big floody. Big floody. Oh my goodness. No. Big floody. How's that for bycatch? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna lose him. He's only just pinned. Oh, get your head down there, mate. Get your head down. Get your head down. Oh, how's that for bike catch? <laughs> I thought it was a big jack. It just so slow and then glided off with it. Big flatty. Everything eats a prawn, hey? Everything eats a prawn. We don't have anything to grip our friend with. Look at that. That's a big flatty. Well, I'll take that. All right, big girl. She's gone 70. Beautiful big girl. Get out of here. She's out of here. Mucked around with her a bit, got a little photo and stuff, but that is very, very cool. Everything eats a prawn. Everything eats a prawn. Let's re-rig this little dude. He's actually still intact. Two jacks. A big floody. And the one prawn. Oh, yep. That was sick. Yep. That was sick. Oh, it's a coddy. Little coddy. Thought it was a jack. It was pretty dark. But Mr. Codley living on this rock bar. On the imposter again. See you, mate. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Much like my hair, the uh, tide is well and truly receded. But uh, yeah, really, really fun little session. We ended up with two jacks, two cod, and that big flatty, uh, which is really, really cool. Most of them just coming on the little tiny Rapala imposter here. So as you know, I throw this lure all the time and uh, early season conditions like it is now. Really, really cool, really, really visual way to go fishing. And uh, I'll take two jacks any day of the week, you know, a jack's a jack. And uh, you know me, I'm pretty stoked when I get an undersized brim. So appreciate it guys and uh, we'll see you next time.